Okay friends, Sunday, March 7. We have to talk about AMC and what we should keep an eye during the next week. First thing first guys, there are a couple of dates that we want to pay a closer attention to. The first date will be March 10, Q4 earnings report, live stream from AMC announcing how good or bad they perform. The second date is March 19. Why March 19? We have extremely high implied volatility for the call options in that date. Let's go over the first date guys. We're talking about this Wednesday, March 10. AMC will have a live stream uh, for announcing the Q4 earnings report. We have a good news on this one because the latest estimates from the Zax equity research uh, show up that the predicted loss from the previous estimates are much less. So on the good side, we're expecting a much better uh, performance from AMC the analysts actually raised their ex expectations and their estimates for what will be the loss on EPS for AMC. So if somebody of you guys looking to purchase uh, AMC stock on discount, probably this will be the date. The earnings report will be announced on Wednesday at 4 p.m. This means that uh, after market hours, we might see a slight decline on AMC stock. Some people are going even further in their predictions that maybe we will see a a short decline in the stock in Thursday and Friday. But guess what? The following week, things will become much more interesting. Here, we're talking about the second important date in this month that we want to keep a closer eye to. So guys, the implied volatility for March 19 is extremely high. We're seeing that the call options $130 per MC are the most saleable. Why? The implied volatility is very, very important for the future prediction of the stock price movement. The implied volatility rate shows that there will be a certain event, something good or bad will happen with the company that will reflect to the stock price. But that not necessarily means that the stock price will go up. Sometimes the stock price will go down. Sometimes the catalyst is actually negative. So nobody knows what exactly will happen, but definitely want to pay closer attention to March 19. Some people on Wall Street bets are actually commenting that if they look at the pattern of the options trading for AMC in this particular day, they find a very, very high similarity in the co-options traded for GameStop during the last month. So guys, don't get demotivated or don't get too excited. Okay, we have to be uh, very, very focused. We have to uh, trade with responsibilities. We don't trade over reaction or we don't trade anything that is based on pure speculation. The both dates, the both events can have a good and bad impact. Also, on the other side, we saw that the both dates might not have any effect over the AMC stock price. And last but not least, guys, during the last three weeks, we saw a major sell-off on the stock market. And guess what? One of the stocks that actually hold their stock price and hold its value actually were GameStop and AMC. So we have to be very, very uh, proud that we select these stocks and these stocks actually performed very very well yesterday on the news guys i watched an interview with a guy who take a day off from work just because the mc cinemas next to uh, his co-working space reopened and the guy wants to go and watch the cinema he was so excited he said the day i found out that the cinema next to my work uh, it's reopening i just uh, request a day off the guy requested a day off bought a ticket and he was already in the cinema. This is what we want to see. This is more important than any data for call options, stock options, short squeeze and anything else. More people going back to the cinemas, uh, having AMC record breaking Q1st of 2021 will be a game changer. Thanks again for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel, share this video with all of your friends who hold AMC. Let's go and watch our favorite movie in the cinema next to our home. Peace, guys.